If you've stumbled across this video, you've probably heard of non-duality. But what about non-triality or non-triality? What is it? Well, you're about to find out. I'm Russ Rapp, bringing you new ways of seeing non-duality. So what does non-duality mean? Well, it literally means not to. And so I'm not going to get into a definition of non-duality in this video. There's other videos you can watch if you want to uh, learn what non-duality means. But let's uh, talk about non-triality or non-triality, meaning not three. <laughs> so when you talk about reality, you can, you can break, the mind can make a concept and break it into as many parts as you can think of. So not only in, in two of self and other, in and out, up, down, it can break it into multiple parts. And so when you talk about non-triality, you're really talking about separating what is into three parts. That's essentially what that's referring to. So the best, or one of the best visual images, because images, uh, symbols have meaning, I think when you talk about non-duality is this symbol right here. It's a circle. <laughs> so when you're talking about non-duality, I think this is one of the best representations of what non-duality means in, in a symbol. Because when a lot of times when you look at a circle, the meaning behind it is referring to wholeness or completeness. So there's no jagged edges. It's a perfect circle. Uh, everything is contained within it. But there is a, a duality aspect to it. If you see, there's a, there's a line there, there's a boundary, there's outside and inside. So in a way, there is, there is a duality to this wholeness. But that, uh, that is an image, in a way, that can represent non-duality. And so it's kind of like, if you think about duality in this respect, you take that wholeness and you... Cut it in half. So you got two sides here. Duality. This is this is groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> but I'll get to uh, the good stuff here in a second. So then, if you want to break it into four parts, you got the four parts. And essentially, it kind of acts like a pizza, where you can break it as to into as many parts as you want. And yet, what is there, what is contained within the circle, is always the same, always the same amount. It's just broken up into multiple parts. And so, when you talk about threes, uh, there's a lot of threes in the world. Trinity, um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You know, if you talk about Freud, there's the superego, the ego, the id. Uh, what are some other ones? Um, Larry, Moe, and Curly. So, <laughs> but you can break reality into multiple parts. And the symbol that I wanted to talk about today is is this one, which is a triangle within a circle. And a lot of this relates to uh, kind of my uh, understanding and, and learning about the Enneagram. So, what we're going to talk about today is because you can you can break this. You can have as many definitions of, of a three as you want, but in this case, we're going to talk about it in reference to non-duality and, and, and kind of relating it to the dynamic energies in the world. So on top, I'm going to draw a picture. Oh, that's a bad picture. So there's, there's a flame. So that's a uh, that's kind of the instinctual aspect of re reality, the fire aspect. Um, it's relating to the world manifestation, uh, the physical reality. Um, so there's one aspect. I'm really explaining. This, <laughs> this is really good in my head, but uh, hopefully it'll end up coming out here. All right, so let's see if this makes any sense here. All right, so. Those are supposed to be waves, so that's water. That deals with emotion, uh, movement, fluidity, that sort of thing. And over 
over here we've got I should have practiced drawing this ahead of time. <laughs> so we got wind there, okay, so perfect. That's great. This is turning out exactly how I wanted. So we got numbers wise, if you break this into numbers according to the Enneagram, you got, uh, let's see, you got three is the water, six air, nine is the fire. And so that's another way of, of breaking things into three as far as the dynamic forces, if you will, that what uh, constitutes flow. Um, so there's your symbol. So how does this relate to non-duality? Essentially, each one of these aspects is a part of reality and, and made up within that whole. But what en people end up focusing on in non-duality is this aspect of it. Here. So when you talk about non-duality in relation to the Enneagram, up here this is this is instinct, this is thought or uh, the mental realm and this is emotion essentially and so when you talk about non-duality a lot of times we're talking about ideas and concepts and so that's where many times people get stuck in this little um, area here in the corner of the, the triangle on this side and so all we do all day is talk about um, concepts and ideas and how you know, the world is an illusion, there is no separation. And I'm hoping this comes together. If, you, if you've if you stuck with me so far, I'm hoping at the end this, uh, this will all come together for you because I know this is a little bit of rambling. It makes sense in my head, but I'm not the greatest communicator unless I practice a lot. So, but we're only at seven minutes, so we're just still doing good. So then, so everyone's stuck in the mental realm, essentially when we're talking about the idea of non-duality because that's that's what we're here for. We're sharing ideas, thoughts, um, and yet non-duality or reality or what is encompasses your feelings, your thoughts, your instincts, all of that part of the world that we live in, uh, it's not separate. And so when you talk about the world of the physical, essentially what you're talking about is the desire for liberty or de desire for freedom. And so, really, the focus of, of that part of reality is, you know, uh, what are my what are my rights? Uh, what can I do with my life? What are what? How can I move within this world? Um, you know, what what are my freedom? Can I own property? And everything has to do with kind of the pragmatic um, dealings that you have to uh, live live on a daily basis, kind of that sort of thing. And then when it comes to this part of the triangle, that's dealing with connection, um, uh, love. So the, really the ultimate desire there is is that love connection with other people. And then on, on the other side over here, it's all about the concepts like I said. So what that means is the, the basis of freedom, of liberty, is this understanding of like if you talk about what the founders came up with uh, un un unalienable rights given by God so that that really goes to the heart of um, who we are as human beings who we are as um, existing in this world we have rights because that are inherent to us um, and we and when it comes to love the the, the basis of that is that um, agape, that, that love that is infinite, that is uh, unconditional love, that's really the basis of that reality. And in, in the mental sphere, it's, it's free, free thought, free thinking, um, having an open mind, non-attachment, um, uh, open beliefs. That's not the right word, but you know what I'm saying. So th that's the basis of all those, those three sections of the, the triangle here. 
And so non-duality, even though it can be separated, reality can be separated in three different ways, uh, essentially the basis of all of that is, is kind of saying the same thing. And, it, and when you talk about non-duality, it's almost like thinking about the, the term or the concept of infinity or the infinite. Your human mind can't really understand what the infinite means. You can, you can understand it intellectually, but you never really can grasp that idea. And so we can never really grasp the concepts in each of the three sections of, of the mental world or the emotional world, the instinctual world, but the basis are all the same and, and we can point in that direction. So, hopefully that makes sense. The whole point of this video, I, I figured out the point, is that so many people get stuck in, in thinking about non-duality in the mental s sphere and they don't really see it, I'm gonna lose the marker here, they don't really see it from the perspective of, of the other pieces of that triangle. And so, you know, you can have a free th mind, you can be open-hearted, but you can be stuck in prison. And so that's a, a different um, situation that you have to deal with as far as uh, maneuvering within the world uh, when there's situations that you have to um, handle that are outside of your, your control. Um, you're, you're in a physical body with limitations and so it's meandering that with uh, working with others and, and, and living a life in, in a materialistic sense. And when it comes to uh, love, if you have the freedom of moving, you have all this money, you can do whatever you want essentially and you're open-minded but then you feel cut off from others. If you, It's almost like you're <laughs> you know, like sociopathic or whatever where you can't really connect with others um, your life's going to be empty in that respect. And then from a free thought perspective, you can go around uh, saying all day that you have a free mind or that you know, you're not attached to ideas or the self is an illusion, whatever concept or term you just want to spit out. But at the end of the day, that'll fall flat too because that doesn't really matter in, in the other two spheres when, when that's all you have is just this thought. So that's where people, I think, struggle is that they understand intellectually the concept of non-duality, but then love or freedom, liberty, are still uh, escaping their, their grasp, and so they don't understand why they're missing something. And so really, the idea of non-duality is, is understanding the whole, and you can't be, uh, non-duality is prior to the separation, if you will. And so sometimes people think, well, okay, non-duality means wholeness or completeness or oneness. But that's just a concept that is, has to imply a separate entity seeing a oneness. Because if you were oneness, you wouldn't really care about the concept, it would just be. And on the flip side, if you're somehow oneness, you'll never be able to see a separate entity, if you will. And so that is kind of the antithesis of your current reality as, as a human being, if you will. So you'll never convince yourself that that's not, that that is the case. So I really appreciate your comments. If you would leave uh, your thoughts, feelings um, below, I appreciate you staying with the video. And like I said, I try my best here to communicate what <laughs> swims around in my head, but you know, I just kind of do it on the fly somewhat, even though I've thought about it quite a bit. So it is thoughtful. You know, I wish I was a better orator, but that's how it goes. So um, until next time, peace.